This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Spain and also Italy. At the moment, one of the biggest criminal trials is ongoing and they are trying to take down one of the most powerful mafia groups that control the drug supply into Europe and beyond. 355 suspected mobsters and corrupt officials are charged as being part of the Endrangheta group and they have more than 900 witnesses. And the trial began in January and has been ongoing for a long time. But during this as well, they've been trying to arrest a lot of different members of the Endrangheta who have been on the run for decades. It's very common for mafia bosses to be able to disappear into their communities for years due to the fact of the silence in the communities. The Endrangheta rose to power while the Costa Nostra was at war with the state. They moved more discreetly and they worked with the state by buying their way into power. And it wasn't until seven years ago that their strength was actually revealed when police secretly recorded them at a secret meeting in Switzerland where they revealed their inner workings. This led to many operations that have arrested and convicted dozens of members of the Mafia. And this month in Spain, a man described as the boss of bosses has been arrested as well and he has been named as Domenico Paviglianiti and his involvement goes back as far as the 1980s and 1990s one of the biggest mafia wars that occurred in Italy where hundreds of people were killed the Endrangheta is one of the biggest and wealthiest criminal gangs and has a global presence the police say Domenico was arrested in Spain initially in 96 and extradited to Italy where he began serving a life sentence for crimes that include murder and drug trafficking. They believe he's responsible for over 100 murders, but due to different laws in different countries, when he was extradited, his life sentence was actually reduced to 30 years, and he was accidentally released in October 2019, and then he fled to Spain straight away, and has been wanted ever since. In a joint operation by the Italian and Spanish police, Domenico was tracked down and arrested on the streets of Madrid. Officers found six mobile phones and also £5,000 in cash and fake Portuguese documentation that the crime boss was carrying on him. The police say he was at the highest level in the Mafia and a very important figure internationally. The gang originates from a small village in Reggio Calabria and it consists of several families that they describe as clans that make up the group. They all control different areas in the south of Italy. So this is a very interesting story that has just broken and it's interesting to also see as well how in different countries different laws can have big effects. Two other Endrangheta members were actually arrested and one of them is known as the Dwarf and he's one of the biggest importers from Italy into Europe and beyond. The Spanish police say they raided two premises in Malaga and they arrested an Italian citizen by the initials of FS who is 66 years old and is wanted by the Italian police for belonging to the organisation the Endrangheta. Similar to what they did with Jerry Hutch recently, they put surveillance on both of these men and after the possibility was considered by investigators that he could be inside a property, they raided it and arrested him. I haven't been able to identify the 66 year old but the 34 year old is called Malaferu and he's the son of a historical member of the Endrangheta Mafia and his name is Giuseppe Romeo. He was arrested in the same operation and he is wanted by police in Italy for introducing massive amounts of cocaine into Europe. The investigation begun with the Justice Fleeing Team and the Central Operational Unit working with the Spanish police to track him down. And Giuseppe Romeo was one of the biggest importers in the actual gang as well. The Endrangheta has become a massive problem for authorities and they have now just realised the severity by bringing so many of them to court and this includes as well government officials that have taken part in criminal activity. This was a new calibre of mafia and they didn't want to bring attention to their activities, they just wanted to control the drug supply and be as discreet as possible. They were sourcing cocaine for as little as £1,100. They could sell in the UK for as much as £40,000 a kilo. This shows the profit margins that are really at hand and the amount of money that the gang invested in ensuring that this could be going on for as long as it has. 
In order to purchase the cocaine at a low price, at around 1,100 or 1,200 euros per kilo, the Andrangheta families have made alliances amongst themselves, allowing them to purchase large amounts of 5 to 8,000 kilos. They built underground tunnels, bunkers, escape routes and made sure they got tipped off before any sort of raids took place. So if you want to hear about the full historical story of the Andrangheta and more news and I'll definitely keep you updated on this, please don't forget to like the video and drop a comment below. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news and please don't forget to get the latest updates from the UK and worldwide at ScarCityStudios.com. Peace.